Spoilers for Moon Knight finale. Hello you donuts, welcome to another episode of the script department. Today we are looking back at Moon Knight, specifically the finale episode, but I imagine we'll have a little look at the series as a whole. Uh, before we get to it, then don't forget to like, subscribe, share if you enjoy what we do over here. It means a lot to us. And don't forget to pop over to our website to check out what our global network of screenwriters are doing. Hey, Caleb, we are just you and I today. Brad couldn't make it, which is which is desperately upsetting for him. Yeah, um, yeah. The moment the, he's been waiting for. The moment he's been waiting for. <laughs> we have a we have a we have an ongoing joke here. Um about Brad continuing to bring up the third personality. And um, yeah, it, it happened. happened. It, <laughs> happened. it <laughs> happened. Even though we still don't know what it is. We still don't know who it is or, or what it is. Um, yeah, so I'm sorry, Brad. I'm sorry that you're not here for that. But I think he's actually stuck in an airport somewhere. So um, yeah, I feel bad for him. Uh, but yeah, the so Moon Knight finale has been, it has gone, the, the moon has set, the eclipse has happened. Uh, the metaphors have become increasingly laboured, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> and we are done with this Marvel standalone series. Uh, what do we think of Moon Knight the finale? It was all right. <laughs> it was uh, after sitting on it. I think that this would have been a great um, two-hour season finale. Mm -hmm. If uh, if the last two episodes were combined because yeah. you kind of get all the juicy character stuff and like really powerful moments in the for in the second to last episode. Mm -hmm. So I think sitting on it for a week and then coming back, it really kind of like took its legs out from under itself yeah. because you what with this, you kind of get just a, a very um, Marvel ending just where it's kind of got to wrap things up cleanly. Um, there, there are some beats that we can talk about that are interesting, like the, sure. the Jake introduction, but for the most part, that's, I was just kind of sitting there like, okay, like everything's already kind of been wrapped up for me and what I'm interested in. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, that's kind of, that was my overall feeling. Of yeah. This. I, I'm very similar. I am. Um, I'm pretty, pretty cool on this as a, as a, as a finale, I, I think that I think you're right. I hadn't considered. It. I've I've literally just come from it. I finished it only about half an hour ago, so um, I, I've not had a lot of time yeah. to ruminate on it. But <laughs> uh, but it's uh, it's um, it, yeah, it left me pretty cold. I think that there are some interesting things going on. Um, it was interesting to see. Um, yeah, I'm struggling. I was hoping something was just going to come out at the end there. Honestly, I, I, I really didn't. I really didn't connect with this at all. I, yeah. I, I've got a little bit of Marvel fatigue at the moment, um, yeah. and the <laughs> and I'm a bit <laughs> I'm a bit sick of them turning their really interesting uh, series and film ideas into uh, big protracted uh, action set pieces. Um, you know what they did it with WandaVision, and that that for me the the kind of last couple of episodes of that. Um, was like heartbreaking to watch because it was such a great high concept TV show, and uh, and they you know just turned into a Marvel movie. Uh, it, it should be expected, really. You know, it, they're Marvel. It's what they do, and it's fine. Um, but it's you know the I have to be honest with you. I kind of checked out at the um, there was a, there was a line of dialogue I can and I've written it down for your pleasure. Um, the uh, the the line of dialogue was. Quick, hold my hand so we can cast the spell. Oh, seriously, come on! Yeah, this, yeah, better than that. This is the thing. I think that all of the this is this is one of those things, and I, I'm not gonna, I don't want to be mean about it or anything, but it is. It's one of those things where I think we can be hard on Marvel when they miss the mark because they are so great, and and so much goes so well for Marvel. When so when you get a line of dialogue like quick hold my hand so we can cast the spell. You've got, you've got to think, you know, what happened there? <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> yeah. it, but, it's definitely um, like with, especially with this show, um, they, 
with them going into such deep territory of character moments that are very serious, very um, uh, complex. Mm -hmm. It's whenever to go back and do a big finale, superhero finale, it really exposes itself to its uh, kind of lackluster um storytelling uh yeah. even though like it makes sense like this is marvel you're you know kind of what you're getting yeah sure. um and like you said they do it so well that it's it it becomes so much uh or it hurts so much more yeah. uh <laughs> yeah. and and that's why like not to say that this was a bad episode oh no um, it's just coming off the the highs of episode five yeah um where there's some beautiful moments that are very uh like intimate so yeah to yeah. to get two gods fighting you know two giant gods fighting around the pyramid of giza is yeah cool. like it looks like, fine yeah it, like the special it, effects in this I, episode were great yeah they were great I, I i really would it's one of the things i'd written down i'd go so far as to say that i think the cgi in this is is top notch it's really great and the fact that you know to look for positives in here like the the fact that we're at a stage now where you, you can do that on tv and it's not just in the cinema it's not new ground we're breaking by saying that, but it's still, it's, it's quite, it's still extraordinary. It's still, it's still remarkable to see. And I, it, I count myself very lucky to be living in an age where that's the sort of thing that is going on on TV. It's, it's, it's really amazing. Um, but I, I, I still stand by the criticism there. I feel like the, I feel like the, the great, the, you know, the, that there are a few things that I just think didn't work here. And, and I think that, one of them is the the uh, the whole anything anything with Mark and Stephen in the afterlife shouldn't mm. doesn't belong in this episode because it's tonally you've had that whole last episode you've done all of that stuff there that I feel you know either you don't need to see or you or it's just or it's just back there and maybe we do it maybe even you know we leave Stephen in the underworld and Mark is resurrected and he has to go and save the day and then ultimately it's like right now I need to go and get my brother. I need, I need to go and save him now. And, oh, I'm going to use my third personality to maybe help do that or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. There yeah. you go, Brad. That one's for you. Um, <laughs> or, or whatever. But the, but tonally, it felt weird for those elements to be involved in this episode when you could have hit the ground running back into into our reality again. Uh, and I think it goes the same for the the little snippet that we saw in the um, in the therapist's office as well uh, with with um, therapist Ethan Hawke. Um, that felt weird it felt weird you know with the blood under his shoes and everything like that it's just a weird addition at the end um yeah it it felt like very um like it was it was using that imagery to kind of give us what it already has in in the rest of the show mm -hmm. but i didn't get it i wasn't able to really dissect what that meant because of how quick it wrapped up because like the the fight had just happened the whenever mark and and steven uh uh are are faced with killing harrow yeah um and then right after that that's whenever it comes out and and they're back i think it cuts straight to them in the in his therapist's office and mm -hmm. then that happens and then it cuts to the end where mark and steven wake up yeah. in their apartment right and so it was just all very quick and then it it was over and so it kind of left me like i don't okay <laughs> i don't really know what just happened uh, i don't get what they were trying to say really um maybe maybe i missed something but i t maybe if you did i did as well um i i it's a it's a it felt as though it felt as though they were trying to labor the point that actually that whole business wasn't real um, but I think they'd already made that point. I think they'd already mm -hmm. that had already been sort of done and and made. And I don't really to include that at that stage. It felt sort of just is just weirdly jarring. Um, I felt, yeah. and I think I think this whole episode could have been saved if it had a third act <laughs> because it didn't really it didn't really have a third yeah. act. You know, if we uh, if we if we followed Stephen and Mark after they get out of the bed, and you know we and I and I and I enjoyed the. I enjoyed the mirroring, the um, every day I wake up, you know, you're going back to that again. Great. Lovely. Yeah. I enjoyed that he's tied to the bed. I, I like that he's landing on his face and 
you know, we're we're not superhero anymore. We're just a normal guy, and um, uh, and I've made peace with myself. I like it. I like all that stuff. It's it's good. Yeah, yeah. I just want to see it more. I want to see it. I want to see Mark like trying to be a, a you know, a, some guy in a, a museum, you know, a gift shop guy in a museum. It sounds funny. I want to see that. Um, you know, I want to yeah. see Stephen. You know, I don't know, coaching a, a boxing lesson or something. You know, I it's it's it, I want to see what happens next, and and to. Uh, and and what and Layla is, but you know what happened to her? She is she she out. Oh, yeah. What? Yeah. Another, what's their relationship like, now? Like. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> how how does that yeah, work? Yeah. You know, another yeah. line of dialogue I wrote down as well. Um, are you an Egyptian superhero? I am. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Right. I I know why it's there. I get why it's there, and it's important for representation, yeah. and I love that, and I love that they've done that, and it's good. But you've done it. You don't need to say it. It's 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 late in the points labored. You know. Yeah, I, I feel like there's a lot of that right now. Um, there's of like not and I don't know where it comes from. Maybe it's studio. Maybe it's, you know, in the writer's room. Um, and I'm sure it varies, but I feel like there's a lot of like not trusting the audience to understand <clears throat> what they're watching. Yeah. To where it's like, no, no, you like we're going to tell you and then we're going to tell you again. And then we're going to nod to it. like, <laughs> And yeah. it's like, just uh, instead of just trusting the audience to be smart enough where yeah, um, it's like, no, we get it. Like she's an Egyptian superhero. And, and that's super cool. Like, I think, I think, yeah, it, I think yeah. it's important to acknowledge that, you know, we're, we're two white guys having a conversation about this. You know, it, the, we, <laughs> we can't, we cannot understand the significance of, of that in, in the same way that other people will be able to. And, and, you know, we're not getting it. Um, not getting at that image it's it's a great image and it's and it's important and the significance of that is wonderful but you don't have to labor the point i think that's the that's the kind of thing um which you know it, again, it, it doesn't feel like it was um like really massaged in there or like even developed it it just it kind of felt like out of the in. blue like yeah let's just drop it in because we need to um and maybe that was you know i know how how it goes whenever you're just like okay well i, I gotta do this so <laughs> drop yeah. it in um think, yeah. so but yeah we've seen marvel do this before though you know the the that the sequence in uh in uh end game um the, you know the uh the the lady team up to go and fight the fight the thing which i think is pretty has been pretty universally um kind of uh pointed and laughed at um for its uh for its actual for its actual execution and then you know the, you get a wonderful moment in the boys um the amazon show the boys where they um uh they they come together and they do it properly and which and they've the showrunners have gone on record as saying you know they they did that as a direct response to that so i think it's i think it's it's interesting that marvel don't appear to have kind of learned that one um yeah and i'll use it <laughs> An example that I'm, I may be completely wrong on. <laughs> okay, I'm excited. But I'm excited. If, if, I'm, if, I'm, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, so like in the first Wonder Woman, it was really cool to see just that movie and how like how great. Um, I haven't watched it in a, long, in a while, but how great it was to watch it on a big screen. It was yeah. it was a, a good superhero movie. It wasn't like um, like story wise groundbreaking, but it was entertaining and did its job. Sure. Um, and I don't remember, but do, in that movie, does it ever say like something along the lines of you're a woman superhero or something? There's images of that and it's, sh it's conveyed through her action and through her, like some of shot, some of the shots of her. Um, and I remember watching that movie and being like, wow, this is really cool. Like this is a lot of the conversation around that movie was how like great it was to have a good woman superhero movie. Yeah. Uh, and there were a lot of women at the time who watched it that were excited and were like, I've never been able to relate to this on screen. Yeah, sure. And so like, so I remember just thinking, like putting myself in that um, mindset while watching it and be like, oh yeah, that's really cool. Um, and then I watched the first hour of Wonder Woman 84 and yeah. it kind of, if I remember correctly, I, I didn't finish the movie. So this is why, where maybe I'm speaking yeah. uh, <laughs> wrong, but that movie, like there's the mall sequence and it's very much of the like, Oh, you're a woman superhero. Yeah. Um, 
if I remember right. But so that would be uh, yeah. kind of where this falls into that same trap, maybe. And it's an easy trap, and it's an easy and very well-meaning trap to fall into. Um, and and it's and it's one of those things. But I and I but I, but you're right. And I, and I think when you have the that's the thing is that we now have an example of how you do that properly in Wonder Woman. Yeah, um, yeah. That, that first Wonder Woman film, and um, uh, far too late, but we have it. Um, and you know that, and there are other there are other examples of of um, this being done right. So again, it's not so much, and within Marvel as well, you know, there are there are these things that have occurred there. Um, so again, to pick up, and I think there's a theme of this conversation is that we know Marvel can do it better, which is why it's you know a little disappointing when it's not done uh, when it's not done right. Um, I mean, yeah, I, I think it's. I, I that there, there was it was it was all it was a lot of action there was very little substance um the the pace was the pacing man it was just it was weird it was so weird like yeah it, yeah. it, it felt like they were just rushing to the end and they were they were just like okay well you know you've seen all the good bit now let's have that let's have a a bird skull fight a crocodile and then over <laughs> and we're going to intercut that with uh with Harrow and Oscar Isaac and yeah. uh, Layla, and yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Not not a strong ending to uh, to what has been, I I think a a really strong show up to this point. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, it, it's been yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's yeah. <laughs> now I will say, like with the inclusion of the post credit sequence. That was fun, and that it was. I I don't even know if it needed to be a post credit. Like, um, it would have been a great thing to put into a third act. Yeah, you know, yeah. That, if if that was there, it, it just yeah. Write a third act. What are you doing? I, <laughs> it's, uh, I, so weird. It's just it's it's a a really weird decision. I and I understand yeah. that it, this is the this is the third act of the overarching story. I understand that, um, but it's not. You have to have an act, a third act in your episode as well. It, it's it's just a. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look, it, it's looking... a little, little choppy. Um, mm. It definitely, yeah, like the pacing. Uh, it just, yeah, feels like it's racing to the end, and uh, like it's already kind of wrapped up everything. It feels like the. Uh, the resolution, even though we don't really get much resolution on uh, on the characters that we want to know more about, because yeah. from so we're introduced to Mark or sorry to Stephen, we start to get to know him and his like his how he exists whenever we come into the story, mm. and then it introduces Mark and and you know how how everything plays out. Um, to then I think where it, it it really kind of feels weird is to then wrap everything up very quickly, jump around and not give us really any resolution on the on Mark and Steven's change. Like yeah. they we're told their change, but we're not shown it. Yeah. Like absolutely. we um because of their so like not seeing how okay they coexist now but how does that translate for them existing in their world mm. like going back to their normal everyday life yeah um all we get is they wrapped up the conchu like um plot line i guess the a story but there's not really any wrap up in the b story is there like nope. like if you consider their relationship and Layla's relationship there's nothing there which is usually the theme and where a lot of the emotional weight of the story is <laughs> the the internal journey and so like I think to me that's that's what, what why it feels weird is yeah. because we don't get that we all we get is he's back chained to the bed and we're told oh well like by the image of the fish like the two fish they're coexisting mm -hmm. so it's kind of hinting at that but we don't really understand what that means for these characters that we care about now. Yeah. yeah. And care about very much as well. You know, the o Oscar Isaac, o Oscar Isaacs, I think I, I can't, I, I'm 
Is there an S on the end of that? Isaac. I'm not really sure. right, Isaac, no, there's yeah. not. Isaac. Why yeah. I think there's an S on the end of that? So weird. Um, I did too. <laughs> did you? Oh, okay, cool. That's all right yeah. then. Um, yeah. Oscar, Oscar Isaac is an absolute powerhouse in this. And I do think the uh, a, a, a big plus from this episode um, is seeing him uh, chopping between uh, Mark and Stephen oh, yeah. so quickly, <laughs> so quickly, so just, quickly. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and and it's great, and you and you just you can see it so clearly, and and you know, and then you you get the you get Moon Knight, you get Mister Knight, you know, it, it's a really neat image, and I and I, it's it's very very cool, it's very very yeah. cool the the way he manages to achieve that, and I think the writing supports that as well, you know, um, again yeah. to find to find the positives in there, it is, um, the right the, the writing of that character has been excellent throughout all those characters actually it would be a better way of putting it has been excellent throughout the uh, throughout the whole series and um you know i i applaud them for that but again you know it's even like, layla gets to do it too which is yeah fun. yeah that's true yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah it's uh, yeah so i so a, a question for you then to to kind of wrap this up if we're looking at moon knight as a whole um I I'm pretty up on it as a whole. It's just a, it it didn't quite stick the landing for me, but I think it's a it's a good series on the whole. Um, and I think you're probably in agreement with me on that. But what I'm interested in is where this sits in that wider MCU story arc. And we are going to be talking quite shortly about Doctor Strange as well. Um, there'll be a there'll be a there'll be a, an episode. Uh, we're going to be filming these back to back as a uh, as a as a double bill um but the you know that that episode will come out after this one i believe um and um and and that that's a point to raise there as well is that the these this overarching thing that marvel has, has done and has told us that they do here they tell big long form stories and everything like that that feels pretty absent from this it feels pretty it feels pretty missing is that to your in your mind? Is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? Is it not anything? Was it refreshing? Was it a problem? Thoughts? What do you think? Um, I I think it's pretty refreshing just based on <clears throat> what they did with his character and mm-hmm. and how they handled uh just the development and story. Uh, so I'm fine with it existing. Um, I would have. I, I wish it would have wrapped up nicely to where is like a complete package um that just could exist on its own Mm -hmm. i almost say now i would rather it fold into maybe i know they have like a couple other shows coming out that moon knight kind of falls into um in the comics and so they can bring him in i think um and I would imagine they will, but well, I guess we'll see. Um, but I, I, I do feel like this is this is good enough to to just let it be. Mm-hmm. Um, and and because of the ending, uh, ex- excluding the post credits, um, I think there's there's enough ambiguity there to to allow the audience to kind of play around with what they think actually happened. Mm -hmm. Um, like the, like, was it all just in his head? Was he like, has he been chained to the bed this whole time? Um, and it was this like an inner, like a full on inner, uh, battle or story, um, that translates to a, uh, a good, like, story about mental health um and so yeah like i think that there's a lot there that are that allow it to stand on its own yeah um to where they may not need to bring it back uh, especially with given oscar isaac and how big he is and Mm -hmm. might be a problem um, for them yeah 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 but so which i think is what really if like with a lot of these actors who are huge a-list actors who do a lot of um character acting right um mm-hmm. they uh to allow them the chance to get to play off play a one off like role or um you know just commit to like one project mm-hmm. uh allows them to play around more 
So mm-hmm. yeah, I think there's there's that too. But yeah, uh, yeah, I I agree. I think there's there's certainly merit to um, there's there's a merit to letting it stand on its own. I think that the there there are certainly the the kind of Netflix um, Netflix shows influence is very clear um, in mm-hmm. in that regard and. Uh, which I which I really enjoy, um, and I think I think that's good. I the thing for me is I think with this, and I don't I don't know I don't really know. I think that's kind of why I asked you that because I don't really know how <laughs> yeah. I feel about this. Because it's on on the one hand I totally agree, and it's refreshing to uh, to see something just kind of exist and it's on its own. On the other hand, there's a precedent set by the um, by the the Marvel kind of universe, the the world. Uh, that these things overlap and that these things interconnect, and I wonder, I wonder if it, if it's if if actually these Marvel shows are strong enough to stand entirely on their own without the backing of everything that's come before it. Um, there's a reason I, I I've made that point, and um, and if you want to know more. Tune into our Doctor Strange video. <laughs> I, I knew that was where you were going. <laughs> <laughs> because um, I had the same thought. <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah, That's excellent. Yeah. Well, we can yeah, pick that yeah. up shortly then. Um, Moon Knight. Uh, we can we can close the book on Moon Knight for now. The uh, the big Egyptian book. Uh, uh, big Egyptian book. The the book, the book of the dead. If it was the mummy, the and book the, of the, 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 book yeah, of the yeah. dead. We'll close the book of the dead. <laughs> <laughs> on uh, on yeah. that, and we'll, and we'll and we'll open the uh, the oh, what was it called in the Doctor Strange book? The um, oh, the the book of so many books of things. The book of uh, <laughs> something with Darkhold. The Darkhold, yeah. Darkhold. We'll close. The Darkhold, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. it. That's it. I'm getting. There was what? another book, but yeah, yeah. I was. That was a good book as well, wasn't there? Well, we're gonna yeah, close. <laughs> The good book. The good book. We uh, well, we're going to close the book of the dead, and we will shortly be opening the dark old to uh, have a have a look at that. Uh, but until next time, guys, uh, thanks for joining us on our journey through uh, through Moon Knight. You can go back and check out all our conversations on that uh, and lots of other Marvel projects, uh, uh, past and present. Uh, and yeah, and so until next time, latest gators. Oh, <laughs> the last time I'm going to say that. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.